Hello students, today in this video I am going to discuss sums of 3F from class 10 Ambos textbook. Here question number 1 is, a father is 3 times as old as his son. In 12 years time, he will be twice as old as his son. Find the present age of father and his son. Let the son's present age be x years and father's present age be y years. Now in the first part of the question it is given that a father is three times as old as his son. Here we have taken father's age is y. So y will be three times the age of his son. So y will be 3x. Let it be equation number one. Again it is given in 12 years time. That means after 12 years son's age will be x plus 12 because his present age is x. So after 12 years it will be x plus 12. And father's age after 12 years will be y plus 12. Now as given in the question, in 12 years time, he will be twice as old as his son. So father's age will be twice the age of the son after 12 years. So we have written father's age equals to twice age of the son. So y plus 12 equals to 2 into x twice x plus 2 into 12 24. From equation 1, we know y equal to 3x. So Instead of y, we can write 3x plus 12 equal to twice x plus 24. So 3x minus twice x equal to 24 minus 12. 3x minus 2x will be x. So x equal to 12. Now if we replace the value of x here in the first equation, then y will be 3 into 12. 3 into 12, 36. Therefore, father's present age is 36 years and son's present age is 12 years. In question number 2 it is given, 6 years hence a man's age will be 3 times the age of his son and 3 years ago he was 9 times as old as his son. Find their present ages. In this sum also we have to find the age of father and son so we can consider let the son's present age be x years and father's present age be y years. Now as given in the question, 6 years hence, that means after 6 years, a man's age will be 3 times the age of his son. So after 6 years, son's age will be x plus 6 because his present age is x. So after 6 years, it will be x plus 6 and father's age will be y plus 6. As given in the question, 6 years hence, a man's age will be 3 times the age of his son. So Father's age is y plus 6. So y plus 6 equal to 3 times x plus 6. So y plus 6 equal to 3x plus 36 18. So y equal to 3x plus 18 minus 6. So y equal to 3x plus 12. Let it be equation number 1. Again it is given that 3 years ago he was 9 times as old as his son. So 3 years ago son's age was x minus 3 and father's age was y minus 3. As given in the question, father's age was 9 times the son's age. So we can write y minus 3 equals to 9, x minus 3. So y minus 3 equals to 9 into x, 9x minus 3, 9, 27. Now from equation 1, we got y equal to 3x plus 12. So instead of this y, we can write 3x plus 12 minus 3 equals to 9x minus 27. So 3x plus 9 will be equal to 9x minus 27. If we transfer this 9x in the other side, it will be 3x minus 9x equal to minus 27 minus 9. 3x minus 9x, it will give minus 6x equal to minus 36. If I multiply both sides by minus, then it will become plus 6x equal to plus 36. So x equal to 36 by 6, so x equal to 6 years. Now from equation 1 we got y equal to 3x plus 12. If we replace in the first equation, y will be 3x plus 12. Instead of x we are writing 6. Now 3, 6 is 18 plus 12. 18 plus 12 will be 30. Therefore son's present age is 6 years and father's present age is 30 years. In question number 3 it is given 2 years ago a man was 5 times as old as his son. 2 years later his age will be 8 more than 3 times the age of his son. Find their present ages. Like the previous sum here also we are considering let the son's present age be x years and father's present age be y years. Now as given in the question 2 years ago a man was 5 times as old as his son. So 2 years ago son's age was x minus 2 
present age is x so two years ago it was x minus 2 and father's age was y minus 2 and as given father's age was 5 times son's age so y minus 2 equals to 5 into x minus 2 this is father's age and this was son's age so y minus 2 equals to 5x minus 10 so y equal to 5x minus 10 plus 2 so y equal to 5x minus 10 plus 2 it will be minus 8 let it be equation number 1 again it is given that 2 years later his age will be 8 more than 3 times the age of his son so after 2 years son's age will be x plus 2 and father's age will be y plus 2 now as given father's age will be 8 years more than 3 times the age of his son so y plus 2 will be 8 plus 3 x plus 2 y plus 2 equal to 8 plus 3 into x 3x 3, 3 to the 6 now y equal to 5x minus 8 so instead of y we can write 5x minus 8 plus 2 equals to 8 plus 3x plus 6 5x minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6 equals to 8 plus 6 14 plus 3x so 5x minus 3x equal to 14 plus 6 so twice x equals to 20 so x equal to 20 by 2 that means x equal to 10 now from equation 1 we know y equal to 5x minus 8 so here we are replacing instead of x 10 so y will be 5 into 10 minus 8 5 10 is 50 minus 8 that will give 42 therefore son's present age is 10 years and father's present age is 42 years in question number 4 it is given 5 years hence a man's age will be three times the age of his son. Five years ago, the man was seven times as old as his son. Find their present ages. Here also we can consider, let the son's present age be x years and father's present age be y years. Now, in the first part of the question, it is given that five years hence, that means after five years, son's age will be x plus five and father's age will be y plus five. And according to the question, 5 years hence a man's age will be 3 times the age of his son. So y plus 5 will be 3 times x plus 5. y plus 5 equal to 3x plus 3 5 15. So y equal to 3x plus 15 minus 5. So y equal to 3x plus 10. Let it be equation number 1. Again, it is given that 5 years ago, the man was 7 times as old as his son. So, 5 years ago, son's age was x minus 5 and father's age was y minus 5. And as given, father's age was 7 times son's age. So, y minus 5 equal to 7 into x minus 5. y minus 5 equal to 7x plus minus minus 5, 7 is 35. Now, y is 3x plus 10. So, instead of y, we are writing 3x plus 10 minus 5 equals to 7x minus 35. So, 3x, 10 minus 5, 5 equal to 7x minus 35. 3x minus 7x is minus 35 minus 5. So, minus 4x equal to minus 40. If we multiply both sides by minus, then 4x equals to 40. So, x equal to 40 by 4, x equal to 10. Now from equation 1 we know y equal to 3x plus 10. So instead of x we are writing 10 now. 3 into 10 30 plus 10 40. Therefore son's present age is 10 years and father's present age is 40 years. And that is the answer. In question number 5 it is given that the present age of a woman is 3 years more than 3 times the age of her daughter. 3 years later the woman's age will be 10 years more than twice the age of her daughter find their present ages as we have to find the age of the woman and the daughter so we can consider let the daughter's present age be x years and woman's present age be y years in the first part it is given the present age of woman is three years more than three times the age of her daughter so y will be three plus three x as it is given three years more so we have to add three with 3 times the age of the daughter. So first equation is y equal to 3 plus 3x. Again it is given 3 years later. 3 years later daughter's age will be x plus 3 and mother's age will be y plus 3. And according to the question, 3 years later the woman's age will be 10 years more than twice the age of the daughter. So y plus 3 equal to 10 plus twice x plus 3. Now, y we know 3 plus 3x. So, instead of y, we can write 3 plus 3x plus 
plus 3 equals to 10 plus 2 into x twice x plus 6. 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3x equal to 10 plus 6, 16 plus 2x. 3x minus twice x equal to 16 minus 6. Therefore, x equal to 10. Now, if you place x equal to 10 in equation number 1, then y will be 3 plus 3 into 10, 3 plus 30, that is 33. Therefore, daughter's present age is 10 years and mother's present age is 33 years. And that's the answer. I hope these sums are clear. And that's the end of exercise 3F. In exercise 3G, first question is 5 books and 7 pens together cost Rs. 79, whereas 7 books and 5 pens together cost Rs. 77. We have to find the total cost of 1 book and 2 pens. In this case, we have to find the total cost of 1 book and 2 pens. So we can consider let the cost of 1 book be Rs. X and the cost of 1 pen be Rs. Y. Now in the first part it is given cost of 5 books and 7 pens is Rs. 79. We have taken cost of 1 book is X. So 5 books will be 5X. Cost of 1 pen is Y. So cost of 7 pens will be 7Y. So 5X plus 7Y is 79. Again it is given cost of 7 books and 5 pence is 77. So 7x plus 5y is 77. Let it be equation number 2. Now, here we are going to apply elimination method. First equation we are multiplying by the coefficient of x. Here it is 7. So first equation is multiplied by 7. It will become 5, 7, 35. 7, 7, 49, y. 7 into 79, 553. And second equation, we are going to multiply with the coefficient of x here, which is 5. Now, 5 into second equation will give 35x, 5, 5, 25y, 5 into 77, 385. Now, if we subtract equation number 4 from equation number 3, then it will be 35x minus 49y is 553. 35x plus 25y equal to 385. Since we are subtracting, we have to change the sign. This plus will become minus, this plus will become minus, this plus will become minus. These two cancels each other. 49 minus 25 is 24y equals to, if I subtract, it will be 168. So y equal to 168 by 24, therefore y equals to 7. Now this 7, we are going to place in equation number 1. So if we place here, 5x plus 7y instead of y I am writing 7 equal to 79. So 5x equal to 79 minus 49. 7, 7 49. So 5x equal to 79 minus 49 is 30. Therefore x equal to 30 by 5 that will be 6. Therefore cost of 1 book is rupees 6 and cost of 1 pen is rupees 7. Now we are to find the cost of 1 book and 2 pens. So cost of 1 book is x and cost of 2 pens is 2y. Here x is 6 and y is 7. So it will be 6 plus 2 into 7. 7 to the 14 plus 6 rupees 20. Therefore cost of 1 book and 2 pens is rupees 20. And there is the answer. In question number 3 it is given 5 pens and 6 pencils together cost rupees 9. And 3 pens and 2 pencils cost rupees 5. Find the cost of 1 pen and 1 pencil. Here we have to find the cost of one pen and one pencil. Let the cost of one pen be rupees x and the cost of one pencil be rupees y. Here it is given that the cost of five pens and six pencils is rupees nine. So five x plus six y is nine. Again it is given cost of three pens and two pencils is rupees five. So it will be three x plus two y equal to five. Now equation one, I am going to multiply with three and equation two, I am going to multiply with five. If we multiply first equation by the coefficient of x in the second equation, that is 3. So, first equation multiplied by 3 will give 3 15x, 3 6 18, 3 9 27. And second equation, if we multiply by 5, 3 15x, 5 10y, 5 25. Now, if we subtract equation number 4 from 3, then it will be 15x plus 18y equal to 27 and 15x plus 10y equal to 25. Since we are subtracting, we have to change the sign. Now 15 and 15x will cancel. 18 minus 10 will give 8y, 27 minus 25, 2. So 8y equals to 2. So y equal to 2 by 8, that means 1 by 4. 
1 by 4 if we divide it will be 0 0.25 so we got y equal to 0 0.25 now we are going to replace this one in equation number 1 in equation number 1 was 5x plus 6y is 9 so 5x plus 6y y we got 1 by 4 equals to 9 so we got 5x plus 3 by 2 equals to 9 if we take the LCM of 1 and 2 it will be 2 2 divided by 1 2 2 into 5 10x plus 2 divided by 2 1 1 into 3 3 equals to 9 10x plus 3 equals to 9 into 2 18 so 10x plus 3 18 10x is 18 minus 3 10 x will be 15 so x equal to 15 by 10 15 by 10 means 1.5 therefore cost of one pen is rupees 1.5 and the cost of one pencil is rupees 0 0.25 i hope these sums are clear and number 2 4 and 5 6 i think you can do it yourself because those sums are exactly of the same type and that's all for today in the next video i'm going to start sums of 3h Till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part.